Good afternoon, third grade. Today we are going to continue with lesson four, and we are going to describe sides of polygons. As always, we're going to ask our essential question. How can you describe line segments that are sides of polygons? Our vocabulary for today will be intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines. Intersecting lines are lines that cross or meet. Intersecting lines also form angles. Now, intersecting lines can sometimes be perpendicular as well. Here is an example of intersecting lines. These lines cross and they meet. Perpendicular lines are lines that cross or meet to form right angles. Perpendicular lines are always intersecting. You can tell that these lines in the picture are perpendicular because of that red box right here. Parallel lines are lines that never cross or meet. They're always the same distance apart and they never form angles. Parallel lines kind of look like train tracks. They'll never ever meet each other. Now, let's unlock this problem. Let's try and find out how many sides of this polygon are parallel. Let's start with the top and bottom sides. I'm going to use a little trick here to try and continue each side. Now, if I do the same thing for the bottom, <clears throat> I can see that these lines meet and they do cross, so these lines are intersecting. Now, for the left and right line, uh, sides, if I use that same trick again, and I extend these lines, I can see that these lines are the same distance apart and that they will never touch. So these two lines are parallel. Okay, let's try another one. For this problem, we need to figure out if the green sides of the polygon are intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel. So let's take a look. I know for a fact that parallel lines will never ever cross or meet, so I know that these lines are not parallel. If I look at this angle, it does not look to be a right angle because a right angle will look something like that. So then I know for a fact that it's not perpendicular either. The only thing I have left are intersecting lines. And these lines definitely cross and they do meet. So the answer here is intersecting. Now for number one, let's find out what sides are parallel. Let's start off with the top and bottom. When I look at the top and bottom, let's use that little trick we learned before. Let's continue them even further. If I continue them further, I can definitely tell that they do not touch, so they are parallel. So C and A are parallel. How about the two sides? Let's use our trick again. Let's continue it even further. I see that these do not touch either, so B and D are also parallel. For numbers 2, 3, and 4, we're going to classify the sides as intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel. So let's start with number 2. Number 2, I can tell that these lines are going in the same direction and they'll never touch. So I'm going to write this as parallel. I'm going to write para because it's hard to write on this. So I'm going to have you write parallel and I am going to just write para. For number 3, these sides do not form a right angle because a right angle would look something like that. So this is not a right angle, so these lines are just intersecting. I'm going to write I and T, and you are going to write intersecting. For number four, this angle looks to be like a right angle, so this would be perpendicular. I'm going to write P-E-R-P-E-N. And you're going to write P 
perpendicular. For 5, 6, and 7, I'm going to let you go on your own. You're going to either write intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel. So you're going to pause the video and unpause when you're done and check your answers. Okay, since you unpaused the video, you are ready to roll. So I'm going to put the answers up here so you can check your work. Number five is parallel. I'm going to write para because it's very difficult to write on this screen. Number six is going to be intersecting and also perpendicular. Number seven is just going to be intersecting. For this question, we're going to have to find the shapes that have at least one pair of parallel sides. So let's figure this one out. If we look at answer A, if we use our trick and continue it, I see that they are parallel. So that's definitely one pair, and this is another pair. So we have two pairs. B is the same type of shape, so that has at least one pair of parallel sides. Now, let's take a look at C. C does not have any parallel sides. They cross, this one crosses, and this one also crosses. So they are not parallel. Now let's take a look at D. Because I know you're looking at it, you're thinking, oh, you know what? They're all intersecting. But let's take a look. Now, if we look at this pair and this pair, they're parallel. If we look at this pair and this pair, they are also parallel. And incredibly, this shape actually has three pairs of parallel sides. So D is also an answer. So A, B, and D. Today in our lesson, we learned about three types of lines. We learned about intersecting lines. These lines just meet and they just cross. We also learned about perpendicular lines. And the big important thing with perpendicular is that little box. That little box tells us it's a right angle. So perpendicular lines form right angles. Parallel lines never cross and never touch. And they're kind of like a set of train tracks. You just continue on. And we have finally made it to the end. Congratulations. Take your work. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure it's all completed. And bring it back tomorrow.